Hello and welcome. So in this video what I want to talk about is how I passed Project Plus, how, how I did it, what resources I've used, what I liked, what I disliked. So let's get started. So you can see I passed it just yesterday. Today is 24. Uh, and if you want to see, there it is verified so I am going through WGU it was part of my program so you can see I was uh, given access to CompTIA cert master practice and a pro project plus test um, here is the cert master if you want to buy it's 189 bucks I had gotten it from WGU so it was totally free to me you can see I went through 100% on it here are my stats you can see 100% I spent about 21 hours and it was giving me that uh, my starting knowledge starting knowledge counts like the questions that you answered correctly um, if you want to go see the course report here it shows you and the most challenging question there were about 32 question uh, maybe more yeah about 32 that I was getting uh, wrong over and over again or maybe had gotten them wrong more than once so the format is that you are given four choices you select them it tells you it's okay or not and after a little while it will uh, review them with you so <clears throat> and it gives you a nice uh, explanation of all the options over here you can keep going and right now it's just uh, my review but the the actual process that where you <clears throat> let's see uh, here is your oval art progress of all the modules in there that I went through you can see uh, what dates did I take them and all that <clears throat> a nice summary again same thing we're gonna go to back to dashboard we're gonna show you the uh, like how, how it's laid out so either you can go with the review you can refresh or you can smart refresh uh, I cannot uh, do the actual thing because I've already done all of them on all of the modules 100% complete so let's try the refresh probably this one so what happens is that as soon as it loads so here is your options so this is the bar you read the question you answer it if it's correct you will see here a green this is how you select I'm unsure you can select multiple at least two of them if you're sure you double click it it becomes I am sure and if you click uh, submit it will tell you if it's right or wrong so let's see I'm gonna go with this let's see if it's right or wrong so it's wrong you get a green X you get an X question you see the bar has one red I will say risk register and you get a green so what happens is you go a few questions and then you will review of the wrong ones and the wrong one turns into a lighter green and you will to pay with they will ask you the same question uh, maybe a couple of more times until it becomes solid green so <clears throat> And again, when you're reviewing the questions that you got wrong, the, uh, the, the, it will give you all the explanation why it's right and why it's wrong. But here is the deal. Cert Master is a total flop. I would not recommend anyone to rely on it or even spend money on it thinking that it will help them pass the test. Uh, I'm extremely disappointed in this product extremely disappointed at this price tag I would not even pay like 10% of it the 10% is 18 bucks yeah 
I would, I would not even pay $10 for this. The reason is that the wordings, the wording over here is so concise and so straightforward that it's yeah, without any, any, uh, any reading, I was able to get, uh, what, 63%. So here is my journey for Project Plus. What I did was I bought the book and I bought the book May sometime last year, I can remember. So what I did was I read it and I was killing myself. It's so boring and I was like, no, this is not the way to go. So what I did was that I took start taking the uh, question exams at the chapter end and whatever I did wasn't sure, I would actually read up on that. And that's how I prepared for it. So Certmaster, I only tried it because WGU gave it to me. And I went 100% only for the review of this video. I wanted to see how beneficial it, it is for uh, me passing the test. And when I was taking the test last night, I realized uh, that yeah, I there is nothing that I gained from here that was benefiting me there. What really helped me and what I will recommend anybody is go and spend this 40 bucks and spend this 30 bucks. So one is the practice test. Uh, the other one is the study guide. <clears throat> so study guide is only so you can read up on the material how I did was, if you can see, the summary over here, it's on page 21. Unfortunately, page 21 is not included in this look inside uh, Amazon thing. If I scroll all the way quickly. <coughs> I will try to, actually I will try to uh, uh, use my cell phone to make a video of that book and insert it over here all right so this is the i just want to show you that i have both of them here and this is the book that i wanted to talk about so you can see this is page 21 and here is what i meant by reading the summary so you read up on this summary of what uh, each chapter so each chapter is 20 to 30 pages you just read maybe one page Yep, essentially just one page. You read up the summary uh, over and over again, familiarize yourself, then you read up on these key terms. Whatever you don't understand, go back, read up on them, that's it. So you don't have to read full chapter, kill yourself. Because yeah, honestly, I love books. I love real paper books. I love reading them, but this book was so boring, I could not keep up. I only was able to read 200 pages half of the book and then I was like no I can't do uh, so the other thing is practice test again I don't mark them here I have a system uh, of uh, let me show you so I have a system of this uh, I print these Excel sheets and I can show you at the end this is how I do it with dates and like this and I go with mark them uh, what my answer is next over is it says star means that I had no idea I made my best guess and I wanted to whether it's right like here and here right here if it's even if it's right I want to read up on it make sure uh, it was a lucky guess and I don't want to make lucky guesses on exam. I want to reduce them as much as possible. I want to be like this where I was sure about my answer whether if it's even if it was wrong, I would know why I was wrong. I would read up again, make uh, sense in my head. So I don't mark anything here. I just uh, like usually normally uh, 40 or 80 question in one sitting, uh, then watch a little bit TV before taking on another 40 or 80 questions that's how i do it and the answers are at the end you read up on them and see what was wrong why and how 
all right so best purchase ever if you buy the bundle i believe this was 40 this was 30 70 bucks but if you buy the bundle you end up paying like 50 bucks best money spent so <clears throat> you can see it's page 18 and then uh, we are at the answers so the summary you go to that summary you read up on that summary pages at the end of each module or chapter you pick up those keywords you read up and the chapter up like what it is take the uh, questions that is the review questions answers are at the very end if we, you can see chapter six seven eight nine there are ten chapters and then at the end there is answer review questions you go through them again go back read up on what you did not get correct and then move on to this this uh, let me show you the actually to cover page over here this is the cover page this is I, I go to with cybex for any comment here <clears throat> again it's again cybex practice test exam over here here's a these wordings are a bit closer not exactly the same CompTIA is notorious what they're doing is uh, to make it harder for people to pass they just keep um, like using str uh, harder and harder and stronger vocabulary uh, if my accent is giving it away yes i'm a foreigner so english is not my first language maybe that's another thing but the but these wordings are a little bit more closer to what the actual exam is so go with this uh, book it has thousand questions and two practice exam <clears throat> on this book i did not take uh, all the thousand questions i was feeling uh, burnt down by this exam and I just wanted to get over with and with WGU you get uh, you get a voucher so I wanted to go and take the exam again it was free but it's uh, it's part of my uh, curriculum so what I did was I took the two practice test and I saw myself take uh, hitting 77 percent and so I was like okay I'm confident and I scheduled the test and I passed so this one I highly recommend it if you want to pass it do take this book it's uh, so it's 30 bucks that is 40 bucks all together it comes to 70 it's still more than it's still hundred and twenty dollar less than the third master totally not worth it and company is non-profit still I'm shocked but here here it goes go with this so how this is what I did to pass the exam and I was very lucky to schedule my test within the next 30 minutes so there is a pro tip uh, when you're Pearson view uh, it will give you a time slot you click OK and, and then the red banner will say uh, this time so, so slot is no longer available I will recommend to go back try another time slot go again try that if it fails uh, for me uh, I, at first I selected 7 o'clock it was 6 15 uh, 6 10 ish I selected 7 o'clock and it said that time slot is no longer available I went back like using the actual back button on the website not the back button on the browser so on the back button through the Pearson view website I was able to select another time slot this time it they gave me 730 I was like okay uh, I can read up on uh, these um, I, this one these these one I wanted to do in the, that hour but 
it again tell me that even 730 is not available I again use the back button on CompTIA uh, sorry Pearson view uh, website and this time it they gave me 645 I was like I'm gonna try that and I it was 615 and I got the 645 slot and rest is history alright so this is my two bits about this if you want to pass it I highly recommend these two books and do not waste your money on CompTIA Cert Master if anybody from CompTIA has watched this video I'm sorry to bash you uh, I will highly recommend to uh, value or add uh, like level the up the wordings and this if you want to charge this when if another th uh, like the uh, the voucher is 384 364 close to 400 bucks so if you want to charge somebody 600 for this and to pass please like make sure that at least you're giving them a value that is much better than a $20 book so $30 book make sure that your wording in the actual exam coincide with this if you uh, like imagine somebody who has spent all this money and only to find in the actual exam the wording is totally different their disappointment and the money they have uh, sent down the drain I'm sorry but yeah you have to level up alright so I'm gonna wrap this video here I hope it has helped if you have any question regarding WGU or Project Plus or CompTIA uh, feel free to comment I do have other CompTIA you can see a bunch of them Security Plus, A Plus, Nitro Plus so I you can ask me and I can show you how uh, I studied for them and pass so overall don't think that I studied only for two weeks like other WGU people say I actually studied for this exam for at least two months alright let's wrap it here hope to see you in the next video bye